physicists around, Dr. Michio Kaku recently expressed his opinions. Known for his work in physics, he confirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope discovered six enormous galaxies that scientists didn't think could exist. This could alter our understanding of the universe. It's exciting because it tests established ideas about the formation of galaxies. Keep a focus on this. Dr. Kaku's confirmation makes these findings important. He's a big name in science, having a background in Japanese and American studies. He's an expert in physics, and he's open to the James Webb Space Telescope's outcomes in contrast to some other scientists. His willingness to accept new things and share them demonstrates his desire to enhance comprehension of the universe. We're glad he voiced his opinion regarding something that can no longer be denied. You can tell he's looking forward to the James Webb Space Telescope's discovery. It's got him really interested. Let's see what Michio Kaku has to say about what the discovery of these six massive galaxies means. Kaku has always been open to new theories. He is aware that Einstein's work and Newton's laws don't cover every aspect of the universe. He thinks the finding of these brand new galaxies is important. While some scientists disagree as it is causing those who support the Big Bang theory to question it, Kaku just laughs it off. The James Webb Space Telescope discovered six huge galaxies from the dawn of time. They even contain more stars than the Milky Way, though they formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers are calling them universe breakers due to the fact that they could change how we see the universe. This means the early universe was more active than we anticipated. Something doesn't quite add up here. The Big Bang Theory says there was chaos in the early universe. The first objects needed a lot of time to form and produce light. We believed complex things, like galaxies, came later. Some of these new galaxies are bigger than the Milky Way, and they are developing countless stars annually. While our galaxy doesn't do that very often, no one knows when the first galaxy formed, and it is ambiguous. Initially, there might have been merely individual stars or groups which joined together to form larger galaxies. Other galaxies were made by small galaxies and grew. According to old theories, big galaxies didn't exist back then. It makes you question whether the universe's galaxies are older than we thought or formed earlier. Some scientists have difficulty accepting this. Kaka knows this and stated that there are antiquated theories that are persistent because scientists are well known. These theories were only shown to be wrong through experiments that showed they were false. In science, experiments are important because they prevent theorists from lying. We don't really know much about the cosmos. It demonstrates the significance of keeping testing things and experimenting in the sciences. The Big Bang Theory started based on observations made in 1927 that the universe is growing. People were made to think everything came from one spot and has been growing ever since. It was tough to believe that the universe had a start and an end. People thought it was always there and continued indefinitely. Scientists are still having trouble concentrating around it today. However, it is essential to think about these possibilities. These new things do not correspond to what researchers have been saying about the Big Bang Theory for a long time. Science, however, has shown that it's important to rethink things and be receptive to new concepts. When Einstein was young, people thought everything in space was fixed. Now we know that everything moves. Planets orbit surrounding stars, stars move in galaxies, and galaxies move fast through the cosmos. Scientists must now accept the difficult knowledge of the falsity of ideas and truths until they're proven by tests or observations. The Big Bang idea came about because galaxies are moving away from each other and the distance indicates their expansion. Things like cosmic background radiation and the light's red shift appeared to substantiate this. However, people used to believe the sun moved and the Earth was flat all around us. They had supporting clues for their hypotheses. We are currently seeing something comparable. Scientists believed the James Webb Space Telescope would back up the Big Bang, but instead, it demonstrated these outlandish galaxies. 
Science is ever-evolving, and scientists must be willing to try new things and rethink old ideas based on what they find. This unexpected find challenges the current concept and forces us to reconsider outdated theories. Redshift is used by researchers to determine things in the air. It is the shift in light as things move closer or further away. Imagine a car approaching you. As it gets closer, the engine gets louder but changes as it passes. Light does the same thing. A star's movement makes the light appear bluer when closer up. When it moves away, it looks redder. That is known as redshift. Redshift is used in physics to measure speeds and distances in space. However, even minor errors could result in very different outcomes. How these measures were taken is being checked, and it will be fascinating to observe the outcomes. With the newest things we found, it's important to inquire whether they are redshift errors or if some scientists are simply denying the facts. This needs careful checking. The investigation of the cosmos always challenges and captivates people. You can leave your feedback, as usual, in the box below. If the video appeals to you, share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. The analysis of our universe continues to alter our perceptions from the early theories of the cosmos. These revelations alter our perspective on the universe and test the limits of the research. One of the most important cosmological inquiries is the investigation of the evolution of galaxies. It's important to study galaxies for existing theories, such as the Big Bang Theory. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe began at a single, tiny point and has expanded ever since. The experience of watching the universe expand. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has put some of the main ideas of the Big Bang Theory to the test. The James Webb Space Telescope has found galaxies of greater size and variety than what we anticipated. The implications of these are deep. They raise concerns regarding the models of the universe. Astronomers are working hard and steady throughout the course of the cosmos and the universe. Next to studying galaxies, astronomers are also studying larger structures. By measuring the velocities, structures can alter the dimensions of the galaxies. The temperatures can be seen from measurements of the scales of the galaxies. Six were found by the James Webb Space Telescope, massive galaxies from the very beginning of the universe. They have more stars than our Milky Way, even though they formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The astronomers call them universe breakers because, if real, they change how we see the world. It denotes that the early universe was more alive and complex than we anticipated. Something doesn't add up. The Big Bang says the early universe was chaotic. It took a long time to form things and even longer to shine. We thought galaxies came much later. Some of these new galaxies are bigger than the Milky Way and shine bright, indicating that they produced many stars each year. While our galaxy makes stars every now and then, we have no idea when the first galaxy emerged. Maybe there were just single stars or groups that came together to make smaller galaxies, which then merged with other galaxies and expanded. Old ideas say big galaxies couldn't be around then. So, maybe the universe is older, or galaxies formed sooner. Some scientists don't like this idea and think there might be mistakes in how we determine age. Michio Kaku knows this and says that persisting theories are possible because some scientists have a good reputation. He says that experiments are key to proving wrong theories and that scientists who do experiments keep the theorists honest. We don't know much about how the universe started. Kaku's words show experiments are important in science. The Big Bang Theory came about in 1927 due to our discovery of the universe growing in size. This meant that it began from one spot and has been growing ever since. Back then, it was hard to think of a universe with a beginning and end. It is still difficult today, but we have to ponder these matters once more. These previous findings don't match the new ones we believed for years about the Big Bang. However, planets have stars that move around them and galaxies travel through space quickly. Today, scientists need to accept new knowledge and realize that theories aren't always right until proven wrong. 
The first event came from watching galaxies disperse from each other with those farther away increasing in speed. Aspects like cosmic background radiation seem to back this up. But keep in mind that people used to think the sun circled the Earth and the Earth was flat and they had evidence as well up until the information was improved. We are observing something comparable now. Scientists thought the James Webb Space Telescope would prove the Big Bang, but instead it discovered these unimaginable galaxies. This reminds us that science changes and we must be ready to rethink theories based on our observations. This unexpected find challenges what we thought and makes us rethink old ideas about the universe. Redshift is used by scientists to learn things concerning the universe. Redshift is like when a car passes you. The fact that it is moving alters its sound. The same thing happens to light. A star becomes more blue as it moves closer to us. If it moves away, it looks redder. That is redshift. In physics, redshift is used to measure distance in the universe, but even minor errors can have an impact. The ways we measure things are being looked at once more. It will be fascinating to watch what scientists discover. We have to think hard about whether these new cosmic discoveries are the cause of redshift mistakes or if some scientists simply do not desire to adhere to the facts. This needs careful research. Looking closely at how we measure things shows that science is always changing. Thanks for watching. Tell us your questions in the comments. Share and like Michio Kaku's video if you enjoy it and accept it. Thank you for viewing and until next time. This asks people to become involved and build a community of people who want to learn about science. Studying the universe keeps fascinating and puts scientists to the test. We keep everything, old ideas and new finds, altering our understanding of space. One of the most pressing concerns is how to start and adjust. Galaxies are huge mixtures of gas, dust, stars, and dark stuff held together by gravity. Knowing how they develop reveals more about the universe and tests various hypotheses like the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory says the universe started from one tiny spot and has expanded ever since. It arrived from seeing the universe grow and from cosmic background radiation, which is like lingering heat from the earlier universe. However, the James Webb Space Telescope's new discoveries have questioned some of this. The James Webb Space Telescope can see better than ever before and has found galaxies that defy explanation. They're shortly after the Big Bang and bigger and brighter than we thought, meaning the early universe was more active. This makes us wonder about how galaxies formed and makes scientists reconsider their concepts. For instance, finding massive galaxies soon after the Big Bang means galaxies could have formed earlier than we thought. Also, the James Webb Space Telescope demonstrates that galaxies can expand fast and make lots of stars early on. This makes scientists change how they think about stars, gas, and dark stuff cooperating to produce the initial galaxies.